You're fired. Okay, what's my address, dude? What do I say? Dude. I gotta respond to him. Hang on, 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 hang on. Dude, do you want me to find an address? No, no. I'll just find a random one. Hang on, I'm just gonna be like... I'd like to meet in public first. Is what he said? No, that's what I said. Or that's what oh. I'm saying. I'm saying like, oh, I don't want to give you my direct address. Let's meet. Let's meet. Let's meet somewhere. Yeah, yeah. You know, let's just hang out somewhere. <laughs> Bro, dude, let's go on a date. You want to go on a date with me? Yeah, dude. Dude, <laughs> dude, dude he's gonna respond. He's like, dude, that's gay. Yeah, dude, that's fucking well, gay. Well, well, the one <laughs> one of these pedophiles was like saying that he. Uh, he wants he wants a relationship with me and i was like look man i'm not looking for a relationship that's gay dude you know what's crazy though what's that with those glasses yeah kind of look the, like a pedophile that's what that's the book a, is. <laughs> it's like a you, real you catching them it's like a real uh, <laughs> i'm glad you got it dude i'm glad is you that got what it. you're going for that's what i'm going for bud <laughs> Um, I think it's a good look. I think it's a yeah, good it, fucking look. No, yeah, I'm actually dude, going when, for when, when you catch pedophiles, it's like a real who's who. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like the meme of the Spider Man's pointing yeah. at each other. <laughs> yes, dude. Yes. I uh, no, I actually I'm going for '70s game show host. But I oh, agree. Okay. I, I was I was telling my roommates like, yeah, man, like you know when I look at like profiles, if I'm trying to figure out if somebody's like a pedo or not, uh-huh. I look at them and I'm like, if they're if they look like my roommates, you've met my roommates, they're yeah, attractive yeah, yeah. guys. I'm like, nah, dude, they're getting play. And then whenever <laughs> I see someone that looks like me, I'm like, we got one. <laughs> we got one for sure. Yeah. That's a right swipe. Yeah, dude. If they look like they're made out of butter. <laughs> butter, dude? Butter. Dude, just good old-fashioned Amish butter. Ew. That's- Shut up, dude. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. I'm going to catch you, dude. Dude, you're going to catch me. I'm going to catch you. Bro, I have enough, I have enough fucking uh, lines in the water that dude. I'll get, I'll get you guys, bro. Dude, I want to, I want to help. You know I do. Who. I do. Especially when you said it's $100 a head now. Oh yeah, we're at 100 a head. Hey, we'll dude. give you, we'll give you $100 if I can, if I, if I, you have to provide proof. That they believed that they were talking to a child uh-huh. enough that we can turn into the police, and then I will uh, I will conduct the interview. They will go through the um, the process of. Uh, the dude, I'm gonna pet title game, this the episode show. the Newly Pet Show. Dude, Ed, hey man, people are the searching. Let's it. get fired. Listeners need to yeah. know. Yeah, it's wow. All two hundred yeah. of oh, them. You get two hundred yeah, listeners, dude. God damn, <laughs> dude, that's right? not bad, dude. <laughs> That's better than my shit gets, bro. What the fuck? My podcast gets like 12 views, dog. Yeah, dude. I had a couple of reels like pop off when I was making short reels, but mm-hmm. like I didn't have video. So mm-hmm. like what I found out, no matter how it's so time consuming making like a slideshow for the podcast clips. Yeah. Because uh, that's what I did. Like we were talking about like Disneyland. Then I had a picture of Disneyland pop up on the screen that we're talking about. I don't know. Pedophiles. I've so seen I, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've seen uh, yeah. It's really time consuming to edit that. Yeah. Like for a 30 second clip can take like a couple of hours. Yeah. And, uh, and then the payoff is not great because like Instagram and like Facebook and YouTube, the algorithm doesn't want to promote it because it knows that it's like not like a video. So I noticed like my stand up clips would get way more views. Mm-hmm. And then whenever I posted one of those got nothing. Damn, dude. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I, it'll be way easier to edit, in my opinion, yeah. a podcast. Because all you're going to do is link the sound with that clap at the beginning. And then it's just, you're just editing the video and zooming. Dude, Clayton and I are starting a po- podcast, so I'm going to have two podcasts. That's uh, good. But we, uh, we you have recorded. A cam- you have an expensive camera. Dude, I have you to use better, it. You, Dude, I, you, better, you better start making money off of it. Dude, I better. You better start making Dude, money so off Clayton, of it. Uh, though I did the clap thing, right? Mm-hmm. But Clayton didn't know. And he was like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> and like, started, like, he starts clapping. applauding. <laughs> Clayton, Clayton, Clayton. Oh, boy. You just thought I was hyped to do the podcast. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you were hyped. Don't dude, lie. I was hyped. Don't I was lie. hyped. Dude, we, uh, we, we have a name. So we're going to... We got to... For your new podcast? Yeah, with Clayton. So What's it called? Uh, dude, it's called Beast Time. Beast time? Yeah, because our first episode we talked about bestiality. Uh, but that's not going to be the theme of the show. We just And we're not going to publish the first episode 
until like later on. Ever. You never show. No, 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 no. It's going to be, <laughs> dude, it's like going to be like an Easter egg. We're eventually going to post it. <laughs> oh my God, dude. You guys talked about but, Are you going to have like a Marshawn Lynch thing so that it seems like you named it after Marshawn Lynch? Nah. You know, nah. Beast mode or Beast nah, Amanda's designing a logo for it. It's going to have like a goat's head and chimp arms, like a beast. A what? Like a animal, like ripping its shirt off that has a goat head and chimp arms. Yeah. <laughs> All right. If that's what you're, that's what you're going for, man. Dude, that's... I don't know what we're going for. Yeah. When people start podcasts, people... they have no idea what they're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, yes, like, absolutely. No have one you seen like, mine. Uh, I have you, seen yours. Yeah. The the AI podcast. Yeah. 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 I've seen it. Yeah. I've yeah. watched it. I'm like one of your like 20 listeners. Yeah. Guaranteed you didn't watch it all the way through. No, I did not. Yeah. I watched the first like five yeah. minutes. Zero people watched it past like, f- I think like six minutes or something. Really? Yeah. Dude, you had a big name on. You had Trey Lamb. I know, dude. I know, dude. <laughs> Trey Lamb. Dude, Mr. Lamb. Big Dick was on your... <laughs> and it didn't get the views. But that's dude. fine. Um, didn't want it to. You know what's really funny about this podcast studio is that you have your your lamp on a. I know that's that's on not a chair. That's not long term. Uh, on a I, recliner, he's got a dude. This a, is so. This is one. This is the first Let's Get Fired episode in the mm-hmm. studio. Okay. So we got to don't call it a studio. This isn't a studio. This is a bed guest bedroom. Yeah, this this is, guest, it's going to become a studio. Yeah. Don't call so it a studio I, yet. No, no, not yet. I am getting soundproofing. I'm yeah. going to have the lighting. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have like the podcast sign up on the wall. It's going to look legit. Mm-hmm. Uh, just give me a few paychecks in six months. A few paychecks. <laughs> but I'm going to I'm gonna make this look good. This is going to be a good professional looking operation. I'm going to upgrade the microphones from USB microphones to uh, whatever that machine is. Uh, the audio mixer. That'll make you funny. <laughs> Oh, hey Drew, that'll make you real funny. Dude, that will make it funny. That's that's <laughs> gonna make, make this, it. That'll make it so fucking funny, man. Oh Dude, my god. The podcast <laughs> <is good. laughs> well, I know this episode's not gonna be funny because yeah. I had brought you on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just a couple guys fucking around. All right, what are the goddamn questions you wanted to ask? Well, dude, me? I I, wanna... I do I have to swear on the Quran first. Yes, we do. Do I do? Or uh, can I get the book? Can I get the good book of fucking? Mormon. No, do I'll swear on the Quran. What do you got? What do you got? Okay. Do you swear? To yeah, I swear all the time. <laughs> all the time. What do you got? Dude, I don't know. What... <laughs> all right, this should have been planned. Yeah, you um, should. You no, should I do. Know I do the, have. I do have swear. planned questions. Uh, okay. This is an organized podcast. Mm-hmm. It's a real organized. Let you tell it. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right. It's a. It's organized, but yeah. I am gonna go back because like. I did an episode with you. Um, didn't get a lot of listens. Dude, why? what the fuck did I just do? No, no, no. I was going to... You You did a podcast with me and you're like, I didn't get a lot of listens. And I, <laughs> I thought you were gonna, just going to go like... So I do. I was wanna... wondering if you knew why that was. <laughs> do you have an I, answer I for do... why you suck so bad? <laughs> so I do want to re-ask some of the questions. Okay, okay. Uh, and... Dude, I think the fact that this, can, this is the first episode that's videoed. So as far as I'm concerned, no shit, this is the first episode. Yeah, as far as people online are concerned. The last ones, they don't even exist. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you dig, and you'll find them. The true but, fans will know. Dude, the true Let's Get Fired fans. Yeah. All like... It is a great <laughs> idea. I, I have to... I probably said that on the first podcast. It, this is a great idea for podcasts. Oh, yeah, asking people questions, yeah, get them fired. Get them fired. That is yeah. very funny. Okay, so the questions to get you fired are yeah. different questions. Okay. But the base questions where I like talk about your history, mm-hmm. those are the same. People should listen to the last one because I did get fired over the last podcast. Dude, you didn't have a job. <laughs> Dude, you didn't I work for myself, so I could just say that I fired myself. Dude. <laughs> Bitch. You're probably a shitty employee. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right, Dude, so you've never been fired from a job before. We no. established that last no. time. That's never. Correct. correct. Dude, that's astonishing. Is it? That is incredible. Is it? Dude, I... Really? Is it? Really? Dude, I mean, I... What do you think? I, I can't imagine you well, in an office and not make some killer jokes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I did. And you did, and you got away with it. And I had to quit the job because I, I wasn't getting paid enough. 
No. I was like, man, you just don't get paid. How much were they paying you? I was like, you don't get paid for telling <laughs> fucked up jokes at work? I don't understand. Like, Dude, what? I started a new job, mm-hmm. and uh, I was in the break room, and uh, this guy, like, found out I did comedy and was, like, asking me, and so, like, I was like... No, 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 no. Dude, here's what fucking happened. Never mind. Uh, so this new guy, dude, introduces himself to me. He's like, total dork. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's like, my name's Chris. And I'm like, cool. And he's like, and you won't forget because my name's uh, my last name's Brown. And then I immediately said, uh, do you beat your wife? <laughs> and uh, what did he he's say? like, ah, ha, ha. That's not the first time I've heard that one. He goes, but and, yeah, I do. And I was like, but if you think about it, what Chris Brown did was pretty funny. Like, in essence, it was Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, was, it was pretty funny. And uh, he didn't like that. Yeah. He didn't like that. And then uh, my other coworker, he laughed a little. Yeah. And then he, I was like, dude, I do some domestic violence jokes on stage. I've done them. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is Chris Brown fellow. He was like, dude, no one should ever joke about domestic violence yeah. in the break room. He's just saying and this. His... Dude, just white knighting for a bunch of dudes. Yeah. Like, dude, there's... And his name and is dude, literally I said, Chris Brown. Dude, I, said, I was like... Dude, it's okay. There's no women in here right now. You don't have to pretend. Like, That's funny. And, That's uh, very funny. Dude, this is my first week. And yeah. this guy's been working here for like a couple of years. And I'm... Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That is very funny. So we'll see how long I'm there. Yeah. Uh, also, I love that you immediately outed your coworker by name, first and last. Oh, dude. Fuck yeah. I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> also, dude, my, uh, my new boss, he uh, he's like, dude, I listen to your podcast. He's like, nice. <laughs> so he's probably going to listen to yeah, this. Fuck yeah, dude. But... Fuck yeah, dude, bro. Dude, who cares? <laughs> yeah, who gives a fuck? My nuts aren't shaved. Dude, I won't <laughs> give a fuck, dude. Dude, you don't use Manscaped? No, bro. Dude, when you see podcasts that advertise for Manscaped, you're like, cucks. Yeah. Dude. Until a manscape tries to fucking sponsor let's get fired, bro. Dude. I'm they, like, it, they could dude. pay you they could pay you twenty dollars and you'd be dude, like Done. If Manscaped tried to sponsor let's get fired, I'd be like, dude, you know what's really gay? Balls with hair on them. Yeah. It's so gay. Yeah. Dude. The you straightest would, dude. <laughs> they could be like, We'll send you one single razor and you'd be like, I'll talk about it for ten years. Dude. I'll talk about Manscaped for ten years. Deal. <laughs> Dude, that'd be the game changer right there. Yeah, like it's really gay. I need to this not house. shave your balls. <laughs> yeah. It's really gay. You should have. You should shave your balls all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no, no, no. have you there. ever seen like the old like <laughs> drug commercials or like that? There's an anti-smoking ad in the early 2000s, and uh, it the whole thing was like smoking is gay. Like it, it was on TV. What? Yeah, dude. I never, never saw that. Dude, I'm That's very it. funny because those were sponsored. Those were probably sponsored by, like, the government and Big Tobacco. Those are the ones that that did that. They would have made that. So that's very funny that they were just like, we got to tell them. What, dude, I got to connect. I got to gotta, I gotta, I gotta to go these. to DuckDuckGo to find it. YouTube that's does not want to give the smoking that's is gay crazy. ad. Who made the commercial? Do you know? Dude, I'm pretty sure it was like a government like anti-smoking campaign. Bro, that's so good. Cause like, how do we reach the youth? What are the youth not like? Homosexuality. Hmm. I think that's what we're gonna bring up. We're gonna say that smoking is like putting a penis in your mouth. Smoking a cigarette is like putting a dick in your mouth. That's not real. Dude, that's real. That's not real. Dude, that's real. You got you fell for a literal prank, dude. dude that is real. very it's funny. real. That is very funny. I'm gonna do research on this and I'm gonna <laughs> find out if that's real or not. Because that is a god tier parody of commercials <laughs> from that time. And it's very funny that they made it seem that way. But if that's actually real, dude, oh, my God, our government is just retarded. <laughs> what the fuck? Because that, because like, I mean, that probably. Dude, I'm fact checking this right now. Yeah, you better. No, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fucking Wall Street Journal. No, the government didn't make an anti-smoking ad that said that it's gay to smoke. No, that's not what's going on. 
Dude, no. what? originated as satire. Come on, dude. dude. <laughs> I know these things when I watch when I watch stuff now. I dude, can... I just like to hope that I 2007 can... was a better time. Yeah. That's probably when that was made. That is when that was made. That's See, yeah. Cuz it's like dude. it's so close to the time frame that they did it that it's like it's so it makes sense that it would be satire maybe 5 years after they made those ads. Dude, that's <coughs> that's that hilarious. Very... The people who made that are really funny. That's very funny. <laughs> that is a very funny... I haven't seen a good anti-drug campaign in Never. a minute. Nothing that's made me want to, like, not do something. Well, no, no. I mean, like, I haven't seen any of them in a minute. Oh, do yeah. Do they still make them? Uh-huh. I've only seen them trying to get me to do drugs, you know, like the COVID vaccine. hey yo. Like, oh, ah, ah, let's get fired. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Awaken with JP over here, dude. This motherfucker. <laughs> Holy shit. Goddamn. Yeah. But you Owen, know, I, I Owen Benjamin. I, not, I didn't know I was talking to Owen Benjamin on <laughs> this podcast. Dude, we'll turn the tables on this podcast. <laughs> dude, Sheesh. with the questions we have coming up. Oh boy. No, dude. Uh, Is it gonna be? A but have you seen an anti-drug campaign? No. Like, and I haven't seen one I've since seen... I was in high school. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've seen like anti-drug commercial. I've seen the truth ones. You've seen the truth ones. Yeah. Those are paid for by. Big tobacco companies. Oh, really? Yeah. They purposefully put money into these. It's tax write-off for them, I believe. I think they may even be required now to do it. And then they can, if they run the commercials, they can just make the commercials kind of gay so that Dude. people want to do drugs. Dude, can I tell you a story? Uh, it's not my no. story to tell, but then I'm going to do then, it anyways. Yeah, I want to hear it. It's Clay. You know Clay? Yeah. Ten... Yeah, Clayton. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, what, 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 he's a fag because when he moved to Utah, he changed his stage name from his real name, Clayton, mm-hmm. to at open mics. He signs up as Clay. So, like, I call him Clay when I talk to other comics. Oh, I, yeah. I'm not, yeah. No, I, I, I know him as Clayton. I, I always yeah. say Clayton. When I talk to Amanda, he's Clayton. But now, like, I have this habit when I talk to, like, Utah comedians, I refer to him as Clay because he's signed up as Clay so many times. Bro, he's like a fucking trans. Dude. <laughs> he's like a tranny, dude. Dude, I was like, dude, you know who else was Clay? Clay Aiken. And he was gay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was gay, too. Um, Yeah, Clayton. Dude, when I had him on, when I had him in a sketch, I literally just had him use his name. I was like, it's Clayton. <laughs> that's perfect. I was like, that's perfect for the role we needed you for. Clayton. That is the perfect white man. Oh, it's it's so good. What were you going to say? This story? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, well, he he's a heavy smoker. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... Uh, he smoked his first cigarette when he was 14 okay. and he got peer pressured into it by his older brother and his older brother's friends. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he was like, nah, I don't want to, his brother, his older brother's friend was like, dude, you're a fag. And he's like, okay, well, I guess I have to. And Mm -hmm. so then he did. And now Clayton's been smoking all these years, but the guy who like peer pressured him into it is married to a dude and lives in Seattle. (laughs) What? Yeah. (laughs) What? Yeah, dude. The, so, guy, the guy who was like, dude, what are you, a fag? That guy's actually a fag. <laughs> Whoa, dude. That's wild. Dude. That's crazy. Dude, he got clean a smoke. Oh, dude. Dude, that guy's playing 3D chess. He's just getting that he oral fixation. Like, he was like, if you don't suck my dick, you're gay. <laughs> if you don't suck my dick, you're you're a homosexual. You know that, Clay. Dude, that's how gays operated oh, in the 2000s. Yeah. He just accused people of being... Dude, like... So, my high school, like... I know, like, a lot of high schools actually don't do this, but my high school did, like, the open showers. And uh, I didn't shower after football because I just, you know. I didn't, I was you like, didn't want everybody see your fucking pecker, dude, bro. I did. I was like, I'll go shower at home, yeah, man. I Dude, I didn't have dude, I didn't have the. Dude, but, dude, I got called gay so much for not showering with the boys after practice. Mm-hmm. Dude, yeah. that's what it was every time. I was like, you don't want to shower with us? Were you gay? Dude, there was so much gay shit happening in those showers, though. Yeah. It was they're literally just, incredibly gay. Yeah, they're literally just... They're inviting half of these guys on Dude, messaging Dude, Clayton over. got slapped in the face with a cock. What dude, the there was fuck? This dude, there was this dude on our football team who had, like, a 12-inch cock. And the whole oh, school... The school dude, the whole school knew... It's funny to imagine Clayton like getting slapped in the face with a cock, dude, just a line then, down his face. Yeah, like <laughs> like there's just this fucking dick that hits his face, and he's just like, 
oh man, what the fuck? And then he walks outside and lights up a cigarette. And he's just like out there smoking like, fuck man, his fucking cock hit my face. And he's like talking to talking to the other people. He's like, yeah, he slapped his fucking <laughs> I slapped his fucking cock against my face, dude. All right, I gotta confess. So that didn't actually happen, but that is a rumor that happened in high school that uh, this dude Chaz slapped Clayton in the face with his dick. Wow. And uh, I still like spreading that to this day. That's very that's, good. <laughs> that's that's really very good. Funny. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. But if uh, I didn't clear did that, you know up, that Clayton would listen to this episode and he would have an aneurysm. <laughs> oh, dude. He's like, that yeah. fucking did it happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, look. I believe it, so there's nothing you can do to convince yeah, me that it didn't happen. <laughs> it happened. Yeah, it happened for no, sure. Dude, we had crazy... Did you play football in high school? No. Dude, we had crazy stuff. So, like, we went to... um, We went to uh, uh, college for a football camp every summer, mm-hmm. and we stayed in the dorms. It was at Eastern Washington University, and uh, there was this dude who was my grade, and when we were freshmen... He was, he was like the best athlete of all mm-hmm. the freshmen. And so he got to practice with the varsity. He never got playing time with the varsity as a freshman. That's crazy. But he got to practice with them. And like it was like, okay, by the time this kid's a senior, he's going to be like the head. Like he's going to be the best player in this football program. Mm-hmm. So they're like getting him ready as a freshman. So like a 14-year-old is like practicing with these like 17 and 18-year-old seniors. Mm-hmm. But in practice, he gets like all bravado and like tries to like act like the leader. Okay. And he's like, come on, fellas, let's huddle up. Mm-hmm. Dude, if you're 18 and some 14-year-old kid is trying to do that. Dude, so the seniors. You slap him in the they face. They took him to a dorm. A they took him into a dorm and stripped him naked and just slapped Dang. him with a paddle. Yeah. Dude, gay shit. Gay shit, dude. And dude. the coaches were standing outside the dorm. Yeah. Just, like, letting it happen. Gay. Dude. <laughs> That's gay. Dude. That's gay. That's assault. That's dude, sexual that stuff, assault. Dude. That's so, sexual assault, dude, dude. I saw sexual assault so many times yeah. in our high school locker room. I believe that. Dude, so many times. Gay. Dude, there was this monster uh, of a of <laughs> who was on my football team. He was our middle linebacker. And, uh, dude, like, when he'd be changing, like, after practice and he was naked, he would just, like, grab underclassmen, like, small freshmen, and just, like, hump them. He should go to jail. Nah, dude. He just, uh, he was first team all league. That's what he was. That's... Gay. Dude. It's funny to imagine, like, Ray Lewis doing Dude, I it. can't believe that none of that like, happened in like, central Pennsylvania. Oh, I'm sure it did. And in Washington State. This all. I'm sure it did. Yeah, it's funny to imagine like them like continuing that. It's like fucking Ray. Lu- it's Ray Lewis like <laughs> fucking grabbing Joe Flacco and shit and just like fucking dry humping him. Dude, yeah, there's no way. I think all the shit that happened when I was in high school, like the hazing and stuff, there's no way that still happens. Yeah, yeah, they had to have gotten rid of that shit. Yeah, but yeah, dude, it was scary. Like my first day of like football in high school, mm-hmm. like. Nothing happened to me, but, like, the seniors would, like, make jokes, like, we're gonna make you suck our dicks, and, like, yeah. so you, like, just go through, like, dude, it's, S- like... Sucking their dicks. <laughs> just go through with it. Just have to suck their dicks. Dude. So, yeah, you just... Also, like, when I was a freshman, I was 130 pounds. Oh, yeah. So, like, I'm tiny, and, yeah. like, there's these 18-year-old seniors who look like grown men when you're 14 years old and mm-hmm. scrawny and skinny. And uh, they're, like, making jokes about you sucking their dicks. It's like, so you just, like, go through the locker room, like, tunnel vision. Like, yeah. all right, not going to make eye contact with anyone. I'm just going to get my football pads on and get out there. Yeah. Like, I don't want to get my dick sucked. I don't want to suck any dick. I just want to fucking get my clothes, and I want to leave the gymnasium. Like, dude, I'm just, like, crying. Like, I just want to play football. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just, like... Uh... Oh, yeah, your guy, I guess, would have been like, you're like, I just want to be Matt Hasselback. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, my uh, my best friend, he went to another high school, and they did, like, hazing, like, shoving bananas up asses and stuff. Gay Dude, sexual all, assault! Dude, what is with these? All the hazing was sexual assault. Gay well, sexual Well, dude, it came assault. out, like, recently that that shit was still going on in the NFL, like, ten years ago. That one dude from the Dolphins, like, blew the whistle on it and quit. Yeah. I forgot his name. Gay yeah, dude, that guy whistle. was gay for blowing the whistle. Dude. He's gay for blowing he ended those the dicks, dude, He dude. ended the party. <laughs> yeah. That's wild. They, I mean, you have to be real, though, dude. NFL players are 
out of their goddamn minds. Oh, dude. A lot of these guys are fucking actually crazy. You know what, though? Um, when I was in high school, there was actually a dude in my senior class, uh, same grade as me, who went uh, to the NFL. Mm-hmm. And he was not, like, the craziest dude. Like, he was, like, super, like, mentally there and, like, a nice guy and, like, mm-hmm. wasn't, like... He was a great football player, obviously, because he went to the NFL, but, like, he wasn't, like, a dude who people were like, oh, I'm terrified of him. Okay. And he's an offensive lineman. Shit. Yeah. But, like, he was just the nicest dude. Just a nice guy. Yeah, and he went to the NFL. That's cool. But, like, the dudes who were, like, maniacs, who were like, holy shit, like, stay the fuck away from that guy. They played, like, junior college. Yeah. 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 Dude. And now they're playing in the but X, dude, I, they're playing in the XFL. <laughs> yeah. Dude, imagine like Ray Lewis in high school. That had to be a terrifying haze. He's just killing people, dude. He's just literally because you killing know, people. I mean, you he, know, what, he, he got, killed that guy. Dude, he got drafted what in ninety like seven or something I like believe, that. Yeah, ninety six. So or like, he was playing high school ball what in nineteen ninety two. You know, he was like threatening to have freshmen suck his dick for sure. Oh yeah. Like that. <laughs> yes, he did. That'd be terrifying. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. <laughs> yes, he did. Oh yeah, oh, Ray, Ray, Ray. Oh boy. Dude. All right, what do you got? So read, read, read one. Yeah, 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 dude. So let's. Uh, what's the worst job you've ever had? The worst job I ever had. Uh, I worked at a trade and barter network. The worst job. Oh, yeah, I ever you told had. me about that. Yeah, I worked at a trade and barter network, and it was. Uh, it was just this other guy in the office, just one mm-hmm. other guy in the office. And then his, his father worked in like a separate office and he kind of worked there and that was it. It was just kind of us two sitting in the office going on meetings and he would buy me lunch every single day. And it's just funny to me cause I stayed there for probably four or five months and it like, he just kept buying me lunch every day. And he couldn't afford it. And when I finally saw, because I was always getting shorted on my paychecks. And when I finally quit was when I saw his paycheck. I looked at his paycheck and I was like, yeah, I'm fucking out of here. This guy's making less money than I am. Dude, that's some bullshit. Yeah. And then he's fucking just running up these tabs with all these other companies. Bro, it's literally like a microcosm of the Federal Reserve. It's a trade and barter network. So they create... The Federal Reserve is really good. And if we don't have it, the whole country collapses. And I side with the Federal Reserve. And Yeah, <laughs> and there was... Yeah, absolutely. And there was no fraud in the 2020 election. And we don't uh, want to get so, this yeah, and, podcast. Sa- and saying so would be... I mean, borderline... I don't want to, I don't want to get a YouTube strike on my first uh, video yeah. podcast. It would be borderline so. criminal to state that there, was, there, was, there would be any, any yeah. criminal wrongdoing at, at all. Um, yeah, I absolutely agree. Couldn't agree with you more, bud. Dude. Yeah. Printing money is a legitimate form of building wealth. Yeah. And, 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 and debt is a good way to back currency. It's maybe the best way to back currency. You yes. wouldn't want to back it with something physical. No, 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 no. no. Dude, let's back it with imaginary. Let's back it with something else that's imaginary and make people owe money on money that, it, that is created out of thin air. That's genius i'd say so yeah that's basically what this job was that i had they created money out of thin air because they could just what was your favorite job that's tough that's tough because there's people at every job Uh it wasn't the air force yeah probably was it was it probably like the air force that i was it was it easy mm, not exactly i wouldn't call it easy yeah. I'd say I'd say there's But like when you like talk to like someone who's like a marine and you like heard about Oh shit yeah. And like, like oh yeah, it was easy. Yeah. I'm like <laughs> shit was dude, nothing though. Dude, I will say this. If you join if you enlist in the Marines, you are retarded. Yeah. You are You're a retard for sure. Um Or you're just a sick fuck. That too. Or you're a patriot. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> most of them don't really care about America that much. No, most, dude. You but, get the GI Bill and you're set for life. Yeah, that's why most people. All you got to do is. <laughs> most people are no. You're not set for life, but they give you the illusion that. Yeah, you are. no. They the they give you the illusion that you are, and that's all that matters, dude. They sell you on real, that illusion. Real, real talk. My uh, my sister's boyfriend just enlisted in the army, mm-hmm. and. Uh, for Christmas, I got him a book of uh, Ukrainian for beginners. That's funny. Right? <laughs> That's a very good gift. I like that. That's great. Yeah. yeah. That was... <laughs> That's very funny. She didn't like it. but. <laughs> Yeah, that's very that's very good. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, dude. The military, it's just, I don't know. There's a lot of really cool people in the military. Shout out Logan. Shout out Christian. What up? Randy. Dude, those <laughs> sound like gonna, made up names. They're not going <laughs> to. Like like Randy. Yeah. They're not going to. What's gonna, up, Randy? What's up, Tyler? What's up, <laughs> <laughs> Gavin? <laughs> oh, dude. Shit, it's weird, man, because, like, when you're in, when you're young, and then you're looking at the people who are older, you're like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? You stayed in the military forever? And then you then have homies that stay in forever. You got guys who are still in? Yeah, I have homies that are going to be in for 20. Lifers. Yeah, they're going to do their 20 for sure. And it's like, fuck, man. Because, like, I mean, my boy Logan is so funny, dude. Yeah. He's so funny. Where did you, weren't you in Alaska? Huh? No, where were you? North Dakota. North Dakota. Why not North Dakota? Same thing. Same thing as Alaska. Probably colder. Yeah. Yeah. It's very. That sounds awful. Very awful. It's very awful. Would you still be there if you were still in the Air Force? Would you still be in North Dakota? Yeah, probably. You can't pursue comedy and be in the military. No. Yeah, that's impossible. Pretty much, yeah. Especially like you're if you go viral at all, you're done. Oh really? Would they be mad? My God, can you imagine my fucking pedo video yeah but like if you make some good jokes like is it violating the rules it's not that that they care about it's more the image of the military Uh, they don't care that much you know if you're i mean if you're not in military they don't don't want it they don't want someone who's catching pedophiles (laughs) like they want (laughs) they want the pedophiles yeah (laughs) they uh no they would they would they'd be more upset if you like represented the military in some way and said the stuff they wouldn't really care there's tons of youtubers that are in the military but um, when the controversies start, like if you say something really bad, uh-huh. they'll, they'll, they would fuck you in the military. For oh, that. really? That, yeah. More than, that's what I would imagine. I would imagine your local, your commander would be like, you're done. You're not on YouTube anymore. That's not happening. Dude, that would suck. Especially like my Dude. shit. They would, they would come to me and they so, would have been like, we can't have this. Did you know Amanda when we first met was in the ROTC? And you guys told she, me that the first yeah. night that I hung out with you. She guys. was going, so she had just gotten her scholarship, mm-hmm. which means it's like official. Like she graduates and she's officially in. Yeah. And she had worked so hard for it. Mm-hmm. And when we met, I did everything I could to talk her out of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I mean, mostly, Smart man. mostly I just took us to Good. Taco. I took us to Taco Bell so much that she couldn't pass PT. Uh, but that's hilarious <laughs> that's fucking funny dude he was like let's just go we want another chalupa yeah dude like? when we went she was like 120 pounds and like running like she was running like two miles in like 12 minutes and like it's funny it'd be funny if she didn't know that that's why you were taking her and she comes <laughs> in right now and she's like what the fuck no dude she's we talk about it now and she's like that was such a blessing that yeah. like because I remember you, one time <laughs> we, were, when we, were, all that <laughs> we were getting like more serious, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, she like sat down and was like, so if we like got married, like here's where we could live. And she's like showing me all the bases that she would get sent to. Mm-hmm. And I was like, and that, what would I be? And she's like, you'd be a, what's called a dependent. And I was like, I don't like that. I don't like you're that. Fucking, I don't. Bro, you're like a Dude, that does not sound like You're a like a time. bad bitch on welfare, dude. dude. <laughs> like your fucking child. And so uh, I was like, no, we're not we're not Jesus doing that. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? What the fuck, dude? dude. Yeah. Good idea. Don't get me wrong, I'm a, I'm a patriot. Yeah. I'm a patriot. Yeah. You love America. Yeah, but I'm not dude, what am I I wanted to pursue stand up and I was like, wait, I'm going to have to like live on a base and but fuck like North Carolina and I have to like just do that yeah just go to like a Camp Lejeune fucking open mic yeah, dude. and you're just like uh hey guys so ISIS is funny right yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> yeah 
Yeah. Not I, a big ISIS crowd, huh? Not a big <laughs> ISIS crowd. <laughs> Sheesh. Well, so Air Force, favorite job. Air Force, favorite job, hands down. Shout out to my boys. They're not going to watch this, but... I mean, Logan probably will if I send dude, him if I send him a Snapchat dude, and I'm like, bro, I talked to you. These are going viral. These are going viral. I think we said funnier stuff before the podcast. Too, did we did? Like we really? I mean, that's. I mean, we've been, it's always annoying, but we talked about like is. high school sexual assault. Well, I did, and then you're just like, gay, yeah. gay, gay. Yeah, it is, dude. I don't want to hear about that shit, man. I had to fucking. Dude, you know, dude, if you played football in high school, you'd be like, you'd have a fortress built up for all these pedophiles hitting you up. So I'm building the fortress. I, the more, the more I talk to him, the more I build it. The fucking that that there's dude. Pretty soon, it's not even gonna phase you. There's I'm a fucking like, iron curtain, bro, around my fucking brain. <laughs> there's nothing getting in, dude. Um, well, let's talk about that because we like when I hit record, we were in the middle of talking about it. You went okay. viral for catching pedophiles. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Dude, Just you were on you were on Gavin McGinnis's show. He didn't have me on as a guest. No, 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 yeah. But he, he shared, did play he the video. He played your video. Yeah, he played the video. Uh Shane Gillis and Joe Rogan played your clip. No, they didn't. No, Shut, they the didn't. Fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, man. I could tell that the that the smoking thing was satire. You think I'm not gonna dude. know <laughs> the fuck, dude? Shut the fuck up. Dude, I wish they did so badly. That'd have been was great. The one who like broke it to you that you they played your video on Joe Rogan. That would have been crazy. <laughs> That would have been crazy. Dude, um, so what's the plan for this? You're, what's the plan? What yeah, you you, so you're catching pedophiles. You yeah. made one video and went viral. Yeah. That dude still... He, you, you did call the cops. Yeah. We, we, uh, went, we actually people, went in. We actually people, went in to... No, I don't, don't talk about that part. Okay, <laughs> no, let's not talk. Well, I didn't talk to him. I never, I never spoke to the police at all. No, okay. no, no. We, uh, um, yeah, the following day, we just went in and talked to the cops figured out really like what's needed to get convictions because the first night i'll just lay it out really uh-huh. so the first night that we did this we did not really know what we were getting ourselves into i really? hit up I, i'll tell you fucking off the off the top actually i'll wait till mine i'll wait till mine for that your podcast because it's gonna be it's it's so in depth it's just okay. a lot it's a lot um the plan is to make more of these videos though to answer your question the plan is to make more newly ped game where i interview <laughs> pedophiles and i and i try and uh how hard are they to come by they're so easy to come by it's what about catching them in person though that's that is hard, the difficult right? and i'll tell you and i'll tell only you that one exactly and i'll tell you why it's difficult is because there's enough good people out there that it's that it that it does stop so if you were a kid it would be a little more difficult and that's great I have had so many accounts banned that I'm I'm happy. I'm yeah, not, yeah, I'm not upset about that. Dude, I'm glad that there are enough. Because when we people. were kids, it was just all children and pedophiles on the internet. Yeah, that was right? that was the internet. <laughs> <laughs> that just that's what the internet was. Like uh, dude, there was MySpace nobody from was just like pedophiles. That's like shooting fish in a barrel for pedophiles. Yes, yeah, <laughs> there was nobody from 16 to 40 on the internet. Everybody out. Everything was just just children, About twelve and then, year olds, and then fifty year olds, forty five year old pedophiles, and that was that was what it was. Dude, it's it's wild, man. Um, th- yeah, they'll get your accounts banned. So really, it's it's more about learning how to navigate. Yeah, you got to learn how to navigate, right? I Wait, so I, the pedos are getting you banned? Yeah, no, no, non pedos are. Oh, non pedos. And I'll are. tell you why, because I'll be messaging these guys on Tinder, and they're like, "How old are you?" And then I'll be like, "I'm 14." And, and then they report you. And one out of maybe, you know, maybe like one out of ten will report me. One out hey, of those five, are some good dudes. One out of five, the those other are... ones will just delete me. Okay. Like th- probably three out of five will delete me. Okay. One out of five will will get my account banned, and one will be totally down. <laughs> totally down. And you want to know how you know they're down? That's a high batting average, though. You're batting two hundred. It's right there. disgusting, is what it is. How many? <laughs> but I'm also also keep in mind that I am kind of looking for people I think would be. Yeah. 
So it's not exactly it's not a it's not a true scope of the population. Yeah, so you're I'm swiping, swiping on everybody. Yeah, I'm swiping left on anybody who looks mildly atta- attractive. Oh really? Yeah, because I'm just like and Those I these dudes get laid. Yeah, I'm like yeah, exactly. I'm like yeah. bro, this guy's getting pussy. This guy's getting pussy. This motherfucker is not getting nothing. <laughs> See if you want some fourteen year old dude bussy. Dude, what makes them think a fourteen-year-old would want like a gross? That's what fat I'm saying, old man. dude. Like, that's what I like when I was like oh, fourteen. Man. Like I never saw like trailer trash, like three hundred pound chicks, and be like, dude, I want that. I want that so bad. Yeah, exactly, dude. It's like, oh man, these guys are gross. They're fat. They're sending pictures of their dicks, and they're saying the most vulgar, vile, disgusting, abhorrent shit you've ever read in your entire life. I've read more vile shit from these guys than I've ever read on 4chan. Dude. I don't know if that's true. I've (laughs) I've read some shit, dude. But it's bad. It's very bad. Dude, so, to the listeners, if you want to make a hundred bucks, reach out to Colin, and... Um, If you can catch a pedophile and get them to meet Colin in public, he will arrange it and you will be paid. If you can bring, you have to bring me proof that they are a pedophile, that they believe they're meeting a child. If you can bring proof that they are meeting, they believe they are meeting a child. And instead I show up and I have the chat logs or some kind of proof with an age attached to it. I will give you $100 per pedophile I catch. This could be a full-time job for people. Dude. <laughs> Look, you're looking for employment? I got it for you. 100 bucks a pedo. I got five on the line right now, dude. I'd be making $500 if it was... Dude. <laughs> no, You know, nobody works harder Some for good themselves. income. Yeah, it's a solid income. I mean, I haven't made any money off of this yet. Dude, that's like... I just think that it's really dude, good. Dude, that's like working DoorDash for Chris Hansen. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's what it is, dude. It's like, it's like Uber, but for pedophiles. <laughs> you bring them in. Yeah. Dude, that's funny. Okay, like so that. like, let's go with the the questions that will get you fired. Okay. Uh, on that line, uh, not saying any of them are hot, but who's the hottest <laughs> child actor of all time? Oh, dude, what? There has to be a hottest. Oh There's a hottest of everything. God, dude, There's a hottest the of everything. Fuck, bro. Like, dude, dude, you go to a nursing home. There is a hottest like yeah. eighty year old in the nursing home. This so the, the hot, like, <laughs> dude. There's a lot. There's Macaulay Culkin, Shia LaBeouf, Shirley Temple. It's funny Shirley that you Tem- listed. It's funny that you listed boys, dude. <laughs> it's funny that you were like, well, you don't think that uh, these well, two I, young boys are attractive? Well, I'll tell you what. It's not that I think they're attractive, mm-hmm. but it's just that women under the age of twelve can't act. They don't have the charisma that young boys do. Yeah, it's funny to like. You should. You should like uh, edit. You should edit a clip where you ask me that question, and then and then and then just cut to me, and it's just this. It's just me going, <laughs> <laughs> and you like heighten the dude. The you gulf, just gave it to me. Gulf. I did. I did. I did. I, I, I did. I did. And what's great is that's I gonna love, go viral. It's, that, will so, that will go so viral, dude. That will go so. And then you zoom in on my face, and I make one of these faces. I just go. <laughs> Dude, Dude. <laughs> I know what goes so, viral, bro. Well, I know what's what goes your viral. What's your answer? I'm not fucking answering dude, you that have to. shit. No, dude, I, there's a hot, I don't have to dude, answer dude, shit. It doesn't, dude, it doesn't mean doesn't mean you think they're hot. But who's the hottest? <laughs> it's just like, dude, it's like Shane Gillis did that joke. Uh, he's like, there's not a funny school shooting, but there's probably a funniest school shooting. Okay. You okay. get it? You yeah, get it? I get it. I get it. Yeah. Um, let me, let me think about that for a second. Okay. Let me, we're let coming me back about, to that one. You know what? I got an answer, dude. Ask me the question Shirley again. Temple. <laughs> Ask me the question again. Who's the hottest child actor of all time? David Hogg. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. You, you'll now have, you'll have two clips that would go viral. Yeah. You have two clips that could go viral. You could cut me do with the. I'll do it again. I'll give you an extra little. <laughs> well, uncomfortable for you. Give him a taste of me being uncomfortable. Yeah, I like that. That's funny. That's funny. That is funny, David Hall. Dude, so uh, next question: What's the funniest thing someone can go to jail for? 
funniest thing someone can go to jail for? What is the funniest thing someone can go to jail for? I don't know. Do you have an answer? Do you have like a really funny answer? No, I didn't. You, <laughs> I thought you, you would. Didn't, you thought I would? I thought the dude was catching pedophiles. That is a funny thing to go to jail for, but I don't know if it's the funniest. No, I think the funniest thing to go to jail for is a school shooting. <laughs> dude, you have to... Because that's got to be rough. What? When they're just like taking you in handcuffs and you're yeah. sitting there. Like, they, oh, they, they close the bars for the first time and you're sitting there like, what the fuck did I just do? Like, no, yeah. no, 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 dude, no. Dude, dude, You're sitting there and you're going, <laughs> <laughs> I'm him. I'm him. Motherfuckers don't dude, think I'm dude. him. I'm him. <laughs> I'm him. Dude, do, do you think that there are like school shooters though that get like that post not clarity? They're like, oh shit, what did I just do? They're just like, oh golly. Yeah. Dude, like, the dude they're just looking at the bodies. They're like, shit. I mean, this happens sometimes. I just, I just don't know when to stop. <laughs> I just, uh, Wow, Dude, the, 30 of them. Did huh. you see the video of the Parkland shooter when he was taken to jail? Oh, no, I saw the video of the shooting. And yeah, I dude. <laughs> came to that a bunch of times, but... Dude, they had... I don't like, like, I don't like they, watching him get caught. In, That's the, like, in the interrogation room, yeah. he, like, it just hit him. He's like, my life's over. Yeah. Like, I, it didn't dawn on him before that. Nah, dude, I don't like watching that shit, you know? <laughs> I don't like, like... You know, it's like because uh, you feel you you empath you empathize with. I, love, I, like, I can't say words. Empathize. Yeah, I like the, to imagine. I like to imagine they never got caught. I don't want to <laughs> see the ending. I don't want to see the ending, bro. It's like uh, it's like watching Spider Man die in the you know the Marvel movie. You're like, ah, I'll just stop it right before he dies, and then he never died. That's it. Wait, Spider Man died. Oh. It's fucking. It's all gay, dude. It, they just bring them back somehow. They find a way. Oh, oh it's wait, the, the new. Yeah. It's all, oh, dude, I haven't watched. I thought you were talking about the real ones, all. like the Tobey Maguire ones. Oh no, just, dude, I haven't seen the. I have not seen. I saw the, the first Avengers movie, two thousand twelve, mm-hmm. and after that, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna see a Marvel movie ever again. Yeah, they suck, dude. Dude, superhero. Their superhero so movies lame. are terrible. They're so lame, dude. Yeah, dude, I can't watch and them. And if you're anymore. a grown adult, I used to like them. If you were a grown man, mm-hmm. and your whole personality is that you're, uh, I really like Iron Man. Yeah, I also. What's f- wrong with you? I also find it really. Um, I have a I have a fucking Aquaman tattoo. I Wait, also no find way. it. Like, you do. Yeah, I also find it really funny. <laughs> Uh, for people to to be on the side of um, who is the bad guy in the in the end game? The guy who's like, oh, I used to do. Yeah, I didn't watch fingers. it. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't remember his name. Um, but yeah, he like kills half of humanity by snapping his fingers. Oh, you know what I'm talking people about. People were on his side. Like, people who were good. on his side. Yeah, it's like, yeah, the people who like, oh, it'd be better with less traffic. It's like, then kill yourself. Dude, that is a, <laughs> I agree so much. What? You <laughs> hate like, people so much? Well, you're a person, just... Dude, I, have you heard, like... The fuck? Dude, I heard, heard, like, when the pandemic happened, like, people were showing, like, videos of, like, the canals in Italy. Did you see this? And it showed, like, what the water looked like before the pandemic, and it was, like, all murky, and then, like, yeah. one week in, it's, like, clear. Yeah. And then someone's like, the real virus is humanity. Yeah. Like, well, just People kill, like that? Dude, kill yourself. Kill yourself. Oh, then yeah. just kill yourself. You're no friend of mine. I like being here. Yeah, dude, I like it. This place is yeah. sick. Because you know what? Yeah, this is dope as fuck, bro. Oh, awesome. and, <laughs> and like, and also that's so like, that's so Mao Hitler like fucking. That's so to think that there's too many people and it's like what? So you're part of the crew dude, that should stick, dude. Super beta. Yeah, it's so beta, dude. Beta. There's nothing brave and sane. Like, there's nothing like... What's a beta name? You're not, like, taking a stand and saying, like, humanity is the virus. Eh. Yeah. Dude, Lance. That's a beta name. Lance. Which is my dad's name. Yeah. <laughs> beta Lance. Because, like, cause, like, you have the Giga Chad, right? Yeah. And then, alpha, and then you get the beta Lance. Alpha, and then you get the beta Lance. Dude, I hope this we podcast... We can start that. Dude, I want to start that. I hope this podcast... I was just going to say, I hope this podcast goes viral. Oh, bro, it won't. Don't it's worry. It's not. This episode's not. Don't but, worry. <laughs> but you're going to send but, me that clip, and it's going to go viral on both our pages. And I want this podcast to get to a point where we can make beta lands. 
That'd be good. A common vernacular in the yeah. United States. And my dad is just going to be like, the fuck? <laughs> like, yeah, your dad's going to be like, if your dad knows that you are the are the source of it, <laughs> oh, bud, that'd be so good. Dude. I was thinking Brayden. That's how I know that he listens to my podcast. He it's when he, <laughs> he, he I know he listened to like the first two episodes. Oh, and that's I cool. I think he was like, nah. <laughs> yeah. You can't expect people to spend no. their time. You can't. No, no, no. Like, man, that's why I like the, the, the short shit, the short clips and Especially stuff. Especially with, like, yeah, the short stuff. But, like, also it's, like, dudes like my dad aren't my audience. Yeah. Like, that's not, mm-hmm. I don't know. It's not what I'm going for. Yeah. Yeah, man, I listened to Eminem on the way down here. So. Eminem. Yeah. So, <laughs> do with that information what you will. <laughs> I don't know. I thought it. I thought it was a funny, unrelated thing to say. Yeah, I just listened to Eminem the entire. Dude, my way. favorite white. That's the my only favorite, music I listen to. My favorite white rapper is Macklemore. Macklemore. Yeah, dude, he's sick. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's not insane like Slim Shady. No, dude. He's, That's what I like. No, but he's so much whiter. <laughs> I'll take ten kids from Columbine, put them all in a line, grab an AK forty-seven, a revolver, a nine. Bro, that's the shit, dude. dude. <laughs> that's the shit, bro. Uh, dude, have you seen him now? Though he's so gay. He's, <laughs> like, so, he's, he's so gay so... now, dude. He's taking a knee and shit, like fucking, like a faggot. He, oh yeah, I'm surprised. He, I, I would be surprised if he says faggot in a new. No, he will never say I, that. You again. don't think he will? No, dude. You know what's funny though? <laughs> like, uh, who's the gay Lil Nas X, the gay rapper? Mm-hmm. And it's like he like wins awards, and then you see like these other rappers like Snoop Dogg and stuff, and they're all like. Like, yeah. they're, like, pretending to not be homophobic. <laughs> like, it's yeah. so funny. That's very funny. Yeah, man. Eminem's gay as fuck now. Yeah, he is. Justin 5K uh, came up to me at one of the mics. And Speaking of like, Giga Chads. And, dude, Giga <laughs> Chad, bro. You gotta have him on the podcast. You really do. You really, really need him on the podcast, dude. I, I, I was, I've been telling people, like, bro, this guy, he's he's... <laughs> he's got it uh but he told me that he can rap and i was like yeah let's hear it go is he for good it. go for it first of all he just rapped eminem he just did dude, it he just did eminem. oh he didn't do his own he rap. didn't do his own rap so i was like you can't yeah, say freestyle that you know. exactly i was like you can't say that you know how to rap and then imagine justin 5k doing an doing a eminem like singing eminem doing, doing like the fucking rap part dude he'd kill it it's exactly how you, th- how you th- <laughs> it's exactly how you really think Dude, it I'll, is. I guess I'll have him on, but you got what the you only need condition to. is that he has to rap. For oh, me. he will. Oh, he will, bro. He'll be down. He'll be down. Don't Dude, I had a fun me. interaction with him at the, at Wise Guys. Whatever. Two weeks ago. Um, what the fuck were we talking about? So, um. Oh, dude, yeah. So he was, like, talking about where he worked. And he was, like, he said he's an engineer. Uh And he's, like, well, the company I worked for, I was the only male. And so, like, I kind of had the reverse sexism thing, like, what most women go through. And, like, I had that happen. And I was, like, wait, an engineering company, it's all women? I was, like, dude, bridges are collapsing left (laughs) and right. (laughs) Dude, that's got to be rough. (laughs) What the fuck are you guys engineering? New tampons? What the fuck, dude? And then after, he's, like, yeah, and I was the only guy. And so, like, I got, like, the reverse, like, sexism, like, what women go through. And then I was, like, did they rape you? (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god, Drew. And then he's like, no. He's like, also, men aren't going around just raping women. I was like... When Stati- I, I was crime like, statistics I was like, say otherwise. I was like, dude, when I work in an office, it's Rape City, man. Like, <laughs> oh my and god. And dude, he had no clue what to say. He's just like... <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? He like got up and left. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So that was fun. That's very funny. Yeah. Yeah, Justin 5K, dude. What a shout shout out shout out shout out Justin Space Fine. Invader Space Invader <laughs> shout out bro yeah that's that's great that's great yeah dude those guys those guys uh, are good I watched at first I did not get it but now like I watched their stand up and I'm like this is really good I get it now mm-hmm. yeah exactly yeah dude Justin's bit about um. I don't want to spoil this bit on the podcast. Dude, just do it. Yeah, okay. He, he says, uh, he goes, uh, he goes, PH. He goes, what the hell does that even mean, PH? 
Sounds like a bunch of bullshit to me. <laughs> Is that the whole truck? <laughs> Bro, he's a genius. Bro, he's a genius. Because you watch him do it. You watch him do it, and when he under when when he understands why that's actually funny, <laughs> when he does, when it clicks, like why that is actually funny, he's gonna be the, he's gonna be very good. He's gonna be very good. I, I I mean, bro, I howled when I heard him do that. I was pissing myself when I heard him do that bit because it it also it got nothing, and that just <laughs> when an audience doesn't understand that when there's genius when there's genius in the room. Oh, it's just... mm, It's the best, dude. It's the best, bro. Justin is so funny, and he doesn't understand why. And that's what makes it funny. Dude. (laughs) That's what makes it so good. He's going to get it at some point, and he's going to... Y'all better better watch out. Dude, Clayton bombed at Wise Guys. Yeah? Like, uh, two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's all right, Clayton. (laughs) But, uh... After his set, like, Justin 5K went up to him and was like, you'll get better. (laughs) Man. That sucks, dude. Yeah. That sucks. We all bomb, though. Yeah, no, no. Literally, we we all bomb bomb all the time. No, we all do. What the fuck? Dude, I bomb. What the fuck, dude? Dude, what's your worst bombing ever? (sighs) Dude, that's hard. Besides when you were in the Air Force. (laughs) Hey-o. hey Um... Man, I have a, I have a couple. I have a couple. I think, I think walking a room takes the cake. Yeah. I think walking a room is the worst because then it's like, you're just standing on stage. No, dude, but you're just sitting there. And they're like, dude, I'm too edgy for them. Oh <laughs> like, yeah, too, oh dude, yeah. Because I'm, I'm like, I'm like six months in, and you're I'm like, like I'm what? too hardcore. What? Yeah, I'm like, what? What? Too dude, hard? They, they can't handle me. Yeah, too fucking edgy for you guys. It was a bunch of people from Europe, and I was making the trans jokes. Dude. And uh, and they probably weren't that great. <laughs> I was probably just like, I hate trans people. Something. No, Dude, I don't, I don't there was like a comic. Thing. Not going to name names, but he just... Which, I am all for trans jokes, as you which know. Which, I'm all for naming names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to name this name. But he okay. did go on stage, and his whole joke was saying, I fucking hate trans people. Mm-hmm. And then he was expecting a laugh. Yeah. And I was like, dude. And then when you don't get, and then when, uh, that's the funny thing, like, when they don't get the laugh, following it up with, like, what's the matter? Too, too, too hardcore? Yeah. <laughs> the I was like, dude, where was the joke? Too harsh. You just said, like, <laughs> too harsh for you guys? Bro, yeah, people go up and they're like, oh my God, they just say, they just say shocking things that are not funny. Which I'm definitely guilty of. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I was gonna say. Me wrong. I was gonna say. Saying shocking things that are not funny is kind of my forte, but eventually you learn what is shocking and funny. Yeah, yeah. And that's the combo you want. But when you just when you because you don't know, you have to try it, and sometimes it's just shocking and not funny. Yeah. But you cannot follow that up with too oh too edgy for you guys, <laughs> dude. That I makes love you it. gay. If you do that, that makes you Dude, gay. when I started, all the time, it wasn't too edgy, but what I would hear was too real. Too real? What? Too real? Is that too real? Guess that was too real for you guys. Dude. <laughs> Guess that was just too real for you guys. Guess like, I'm up here. Guess I'm up here. When I was 10, Supposed I got be... molested, and yeah. I was like, hey, mister, the penis is way bigger than my penis. Yeah. And then the crowd's just crickets, and then he's like, what, too real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and it's like, yeah, man, you know the thing where I'm up here on stage supposed to make you laugh? Hey, instead of doing that, I guess I was just too real for you guys. Dude. <laughs> I guess I was just too honest. Especially, like, I started in 2017. Yeah. So, like, one thing that, like, hacky open micers would do would, like, dunk on Donald Trump. I'm, and I was it, about they would just get about crickets. That. I was about and to then, say, like, you know, that orange man in the White House... And uh, then quiet, and then he's like, oh, too real for you guys? Dude. Political jokes need to be done with tact. Dude, they're so stupid. They're so lame. Anyway, they're so done. cringe. They're so cringe. It's so cringe to tell people your actual beliefs. It's yeah. so cringe to tell people your actual beliefs while you're on stage trying to make them laugh. 
that it needs to be done with such tact. It my, needs to be it. I my mean, favorite podcaster is a political podcaster, mm-hmm. but his stand up is okay because yeah. it's political. So, you know, Dave Smith from Of course, I know, of course I know Dave Smith. Great. Like, he, his take on everything is almost perfect. Yeah. Uh, but his stand up, uh, I mean, it's not not funny, mm-hmm. but it's like, I don't know, dude. I don't want to hear, like, about how the CIA formed ISIS in a special. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. That's not, I don't know. Yeah. That's not what I'm going to a comedy show for. Exactly. I'm going to a comedy show for some good Jew jokes. Exactly. That's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck, dude? The I'm bottom line. Say, I'm just trying to say slurs, bro. <laughs> uh, look, it's the last place you guys will allow me to say fucking all this good, all the good stuff. All the good stuff. I know. I, I was I was going to do it. And then I was like, no, you'll get dude. banned. <laughs> I will get, get banned. You'll get banned immediately. Uh, and I'll get fired uh, from my job. Yeah, from your job. So wait, 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 wait. What is that job? job? What do you I sell? Sports cards. Sell sports cards. You need sports cards. Had a couple of videos go viral. Should have done it on a sports card channel, but I didn't. So damn it. I'm retarded. I'm just a retarded faggot. So great. We're hitting all the words. Fuck. Even though I've said retarded fag, but Shit. it just um. Well, next question. So, dude, so this is like stemming from my podcast I had with Clayton. Okay. But like, so they say what dolphins. Do? Oh, God. I, I knew dude, it was going to be dude, something dude. about you fucking animal. You sick dude. fucks. <laughs> you sick fucks, dude. Dude, so dolphins. You vote for Biden, bro? That's dude. how you do a political joke. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. That was a really gay joke. That yeah, was a lame I know. joke. I know. I know. What do you got? What do you got? Let's hear um, it. So dolphins are like as smart as humans, right? So, like, do you think that, like, they have, like, taboo in their culture? So, like, whenever you hear about, like, a dolphin trying to rape a human, all the other dolphins are like, dude, what the fuck is wrong with you? They don't and they out. ostracize that dolphin. Yeah. It's like, the, it's like the equivalent of a dude who tries to, like, you know, bang a sheep. Like, it's uh, the dolphins. Anybody like... in Iran? <laughs> it's like, so, it, you know, you know how people are, like, from Iran? Uh, you know, it's like that. Is it like that for humans whenever a dolphin... Yeah, is it acceptable? That's... I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. No? I don't... I'd like to I, think I, that the dolphins... I don't like to think. <laughs> Man, do they know... Do... I'd like you're to... You're asking if... You're asking if dolphins have a, have morals. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That is I, a loaded question. Yeah, it's an. It's and you're a, not a dolphin expert. No, I, I can. No, you're not. I can absolutely tell you that I'm not an expert on dolphins. Have you, have you ever seen a dolphin? I have seen a dolphin. Yes. Yeah, okay. I have seen a dolphin. Yes. Yes. With I your have. eyes. My eyes. Not like saw on a screen. Dolphin. Correct. Oh wow. I have seen a dolphin with my eyes. Where at? Uh, one of the one of the uh, aquariums. Oh, aquarium. Yeah. Like uh, Sea World, yeah, something dude, like Sea World's sick. I like sea what World they, is... I like what they stand for. Sea World is low key dope as fuck, dude. Dude, I got a funny story about the dolphins. When I was uh, fourteen, uh, my family and I we went to. What is this isn't dolphin? a good story. What did, do- but, uh, what did a we... dolphin do to you at fourteen? Dude, nothing. Bro? I don't. But need... I, uh, <laughs> oh, okay. my family we went to Sea World, and then uh, we were all tired. And then, to the story is gay. Never mind. Let's not talk about this. Okay. <laughs> hey, that's fine. But... Hey, I don't want to hear about what this dolphin did to you. <laughs> hey, man. No, no, dolphin. Hey, man. No, don't dude. want to hear about what this dolphin <laughs> did to you at 14 years old. I'm fine not hearing that. Dude, so we wanted to go home to okay. the RV. Yeah. And we were this like... This dolphin wouldn't let you. <laughs> dude, the dolphin blocked the <laughs> door like, and jerked off. <laughs> yeah, like, Come over here. Come over here. Watch me. Um, and I was like, yeah, let's go. We hadn't seen the dolphins yet. And my mom was like, I really want to see the dolphins. Like, really badly. Yeah. And then we didn't. And uh, to this day, my mom is pissed off about that. She'll bring up... So every time I hear about dolphins, she'll say, remember when we didn't see the dolphins? Man. Man. <laughs> That's funny. That's very funny. Do you remember that time we didn't see the dolphins? You know what you should do? You should... You should buy tickets to a Dolphins game 
for like right whenever your parents have something going on and then be like i got tickets to see uh seahawks dolphins and then they're gonna be like oh shit and then they're oh it's your sister's way oh fuck we can't do it oh no and then you can be like remember that other time <laughs> there's a lot of build up for yeah, nothing that's I, not <laughs> I, I kind of felt it halfway through i was like this isn't gonna be as funny as i thought it was but dude whatever we still swing and you know what? You don't quit when you have the joke. No, you gotta follow through. Yeah, even if it sucks shit. Dude, so why are women not funny? Um, We talked about this one before. Yeah, we right? did. This I, one's a repeat. Yeah, I don't need to rehash this. It's not valued. It's not valued in their... Oh, f- yeah, that was the... And that is so true, and I stand by it, and I don't care. They are. It's not something that women find valuable with their friends. Yeah. Humans. Dude, like, I can't think of any dudes I hang around that aren't funny. Yeah. Except for me. Yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> except for me. I like to think uh, that Self-deprecation. I... Oh, but. Um, yeah, no, I, uh, I don't know, man. I think, yeah, I, I, I think that it's, I think that's what it is. I might, yeah. I could be wrong. No, but... no, I think that is what it is because, like. Dudes, it's a requirement for me. Yeah. It's Except a weird dudes. I know I'm not gonna name names, but I, have, I, know, we, I know dudes who like don't hang out with funny. Yeah. Like the office I work at yeah. right now, the dudes there don't hang out with funny dudes. Yeah. They don't care about that. Yeah. I also have weird standards for what's funny to me. Yeah. Like if you can take a joke, that's like almost as important as being able to make one. Yeah. Like if you're able to take a jo- if I can if I no, know dude, I I need someone who can make jokes. Yeah. So I can steal them and take them. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You should be doing that. You should have done been doing that. <laughs> Hang out with funny people to fucking riff your bits with, dude. Dude, I that's why I'm doing this podcast. That's, I'm giving uh, you nothing, dude. No, dude, I think there is nothing. something. I'm going to uh I really do want the clip I, of the the whatever Oh, dude, that's going to be great. Um, yeah. But also, the school shooting thing, uh, asking if school shooters like have that like post-not clarity, I think that's a oh, yeah. good concept that I came up with just now. Yeah. And I'm excited to try that out on stage. I I would like... Um, oh, yeah, the, the best... Who's the best um, child actor? Sexiest child actor. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need that as a clip, because that is... <laughs> that is TikTok. That is me on TikTok, bro. That is me on TikTok. That's it. And then that'll Dude, you're going to get banned. The fun. second you say David Hogg. You're not even going to finish Hogg. <laughs> TikTok's going to take the account off right then. No, they'll leave that you up. Make David Hogg. <laughs> they'll leave that up, I think. You think so? I think they would leave that, that up. Is that... In 2017, I would cut that would have been harder, but I think that might be enough of a deep cut now. Yeah. But... I'll cut Shooter out. I will cut that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, who's the sexiest child school, or who's the che- sexiest child actor? Oh yeah, that's all I had to. That's yeah, all. yeah. I just no had to cut. Out, I, sex, I had to cut out sexiest. Oh really? Yeah. You can't say. You, I said hottest. Hottest. That yeah. would work. Who's the hottest child actor? Damn it! You did it. Dude, Perfect, I, bro. <laughs> you, it's like you knew, man. Dude, I knew. Spot on. Dude, bro. I knew what the Chinese are looking for on TikTok. Yeah. yeah. They're just trying to distract everybody with my pedophile game show so they don't realize what's going on in the world. It's the collapse of the global financial system is happening. Speaking of that, yeah. you're a big fan of Alex Jones. I, do, I am, yeah. You absolutely. like him. You I, dabble. Yes, yes. I don't dabble. I You I'm, subscribe I'm, to InfoWars? I'm, I'm a... No, uh, yeah, I mean, their email, but I turn the email notifications off because it's... Bro, Alex is gay as fuck, dude. Alex is gay as fuck with his emails. Dude. Um, but Speaking I'll watch... of which, though, you like him, right? Yeah. He's a patriot. Yeah. He's important. Yeah, absolutely. So if they were to incarcerate Alex Jones... Yeah. And the government was like, yo, Colin, if you blow Alex Jones, we won't send him to jail. Would you do it? No. No, I'm not doing it. You know, <laughs> I actually would prefer him going to jail. <laughs> I would. I would. I really would. I really would, dude. I, I, I think... Same thing with Trump. Like... I would actually prefer these these guys going to jail. Really? And, and I know that might be surprising. You need to understand how corrupt your government is. Yeah. And you need to see it with your own eyes. When they arrest the former well, president... Dude, it's easy to arrest people who aren't popular. Yeah. That's who it starts with. Yeah. Like someone like Alex Jones who isn't popular. He's popular. And you can just... 
Well, he's, yeah, in some, on 4chan. Yeah. But, like, dude, mainstream, like, he's not very mainstream. Like, how many views, I would how say... Many views did his, how many views did his uh, YouTube with, with Joe Rogan get? Millions. You see this guy's millions. Fucking, it's the most viewed podcast, bro. What are you? No, nah, dude. He's a funny. Back? He's a funny dude. Chitumba. Yeah, he's very funny. That's very what I'm funny. Saying. That's what I'm saying. He's not. Well, hated. I mean, dude, he was Bill Hicks for ten years. It's true. But like the people who hate him, there's not. They're just they're the drones. They're the yeah. drones, bro. The drones are the only ones who hate him. There's like. You talk to a real person. He said something bad, and that is worth one billion dollars. Trillion. Trillion. That's what they're making. They want trillion. They, they want, want trillion. trillion. They want trillion. They want a trillion. Dude, what do they think he is? The Fed? They, yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Dude, they literally. Yeah, they're they're insane. But no, it's the people who. Yeah, they. It's the same people who hate Andrew Tate, where they just don't know why they hate them. They're just uh-huh. told by the by this fucking conglomerate of corporations to hate someone Dude. and then they just believe it and hate them and yeah that's fine those people i are... don't know hardly anything about andrew tate you don't need to no okay fuck him you should just hate him that's it i hate that's him that's just i fucking hate him. hate him bro let's just hate him no these people they just they don't want to look into it you don't have to look into it you have, it's, you have every right not to but but also just like hating someone just because you're told to is fucking weird man yeah well that's a lot of stuff retards yeah a lot of retards well yeah i mean have you heard like the one viral clip of like that i don't know what nationality this dude was but he was like democracy is for the people of the people by the people but he has like a thick accent he was, but the people are retarded yeah he's yeah. in that one yeah. dude that's like my favorite clip ever it is very funny. he looks defeated too when he yeah. says it he also goes to the World Economic Forum. Oh, really? Yeah, that guy, he's like a... Oh, he's shady. He's, bro, he's a fucking, like, guru that wants depopulation. He literally says... Oh, that, really? He literally says he wants less souls on the planet. Yeah, dude, because it's a bunch of retards. Like, I, <laughs> hey, man, I get it. There's a bunch of retards. But, hey, if you believe that there should be less people, well, then kill yourself what are you waiting for yeah, dude. But you what only, are you waiting for dude, do he, it he only wants the retards gone good he should go first <laughs> good you first dude okay is the last question yeah and i asked you this last time but let's like let's redo the answer okay uh if you had to wipe one country off the map with a nuke which one would it be It's wrong to smile at that at that question. Dude, it's, it's wrong to smile. I am at getting that. a map that's going to yeah. be on the background, and every episode we're going to cross a country off the map, yeah. and we're going to see who's standing at the end. Okay, it's well, going to be America because you're not allowed to pick the United States. What about a pin? Oh, dude, you're gonna, bro, you're gonna get like one fucking. Dude, the first person is like America because yeah. it's the, the worst first country. person that gets. I'm gonna kick them off the podcast. The, we'll get the fuck out. They're gonna get mad that you say faggot, and then they're gonna <laughs> and then they're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, okay, what country should we? And you're gonna be like, they're gonna be like America. Um, I don't remember my answer last time, but I'm gonna go with Sri Lanka. Dude, I think that might have been what you picked last time. Yeah, small. Just a small. It's the smallest country that comes to mind immediately. Oh, you just don't want to kill people. Yeah, that's noble. Yeah. You could pick the Vatican. Does that count? That's a real country. That's a country the that UN, counts as a the country. The UN recognizes the Vatican as an independent country. You know, that's a that's interesting. That's very interesting. Yeah, I would I would if I knew that prior and, dude. If I knew that technicality speaking, prior. You're a pedophile hunter. Yeah. It's that's the greatest <laughs> that's the greatest TikTok ever. I picked one country to wipe off the planet. Here's why it was all the Catholics. <laughs> Here's why it was just the Vatican and the Catholic Church. No, dude, where's the, where's the, what do they call him? The black priest or the black pope? The black pope? Yeah, where's the, or dark pope? Black pope. Is that supposed to be like the anti-pope? Yeah, it's supposed to be like some, he's supposed to be like a Rothschild type that rules the world or some shit. Okay. They call him like the black pope. He's a white guy. He's fucking gay. Call yourself the black pope, bro. Your name better be Tyrone. <laughs> But, uh, yeah. Well, sick, man. Well, yeah. we did an hour and 15 minutes. So. That's dope. Sweet. Sweet. Sick as fuck. Sick as fuck, dude. You're fired.